You're listening to Live from the Back Room on 1061 Flip FM. We are here with Aiden Longston and Alex Glass of Aiden Longston and the Highlanders. Gentlemen, welcome. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourselves, your band, uh, kind of what's what's happening with y'all. Well, uh, I'm from Canyon, Texas. Uh, I go to school at South Plains in Level Land. I'm over there learning about music right now, and uh, we're, we're just looking for ways to make money and have a good time, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm from Floyd Ada, Texas. It's great to be back in my hometown with people that I know. Um, I play baseball up at Wayland Baptist, and... Uh, one of my good buddies that I played with and Aiden grew up together so naturally they found out that I played the drums and we got to playing together so how long have you guys been together as a uh, I guess you're not just a duo you're no sir we got a full band now we've been together for uh, Alex and I started playing together what in August a couple weeks into August and just been kind of messing around with it since starting to play a couple gigs here and there well, very cool. Well, you know, you uh, you came together through uh, through baseball. How is it though that you connected over uh, over music? Well, we were at a we were at Jab Fest in Lubbock, and we got to talking, and he let me know that he played drums, and I was kind of in the market for a new drummer, and ended up working something out. And uh, what would you say your uh, your your influences your your common. Uh, interests were as far as uh musicians and style i mean we've got the same we kind of all grew up with the same all of our parents listened to the eagles or the uh 80s rock back when they were kids and then it transferred into the old country that their parents listened to and we just take influences from that um if we get uh, a real good guitar jam you'll hear influences of stevie ray vaughn and a little bit of Jimi hendrix in there as well from our other band members Yes, sir. So in addition to you two, how many other members do you guys have in your band? Uh, we have two kids from Level Land. We got uh, Clay Gibson on lead guitar and Landon Watkins on lead guitar as well. And then our bass player is from Sterling City, Texas. His name's J.D. Hollis. So you guys are from uh, all over. Yes, sir. A little bit of everywhere. The rest of y'all baseball players as well? or No, sir. Uh, I, I stopped playing baseball after high school. And I don't, I don't know if they played ever or not, oh, <laughs> if man. we're being honest. The other three are all musicians at SPC. Cool. I just wondered maybe you guys could uh, field a team if uh, you had to. You know, I don't know who other uh, what other bands you could probably take on. You know, man, I ain't got a clue. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'd love to talk more about baseball. But we're here to talk about music. Uh, you have a new single out. Tell me a, a, a little bit about that. Yes, sir. Lone Star Set of Mind. I wrote this song uh, last year, sitting in my dorm room. Uh, I'd been hanging out with my buddies all day. It was a cold day and. We were spending time together watching movies, playing video games, and I looked over on my buddy's fridge, and he had a sticker on it that said Lone Star, and uh, I was in a songwriting mood, so I went back to my room and sat down with a pen and a pencil, uh, with a pen and a paper, I'm sorry, and started writing, came up with Lone Star Shit of Mind, and kind of kind of told a story about walking away and relying on yourself a little bit. So uh, going back on that a little bit, what, uh, what does Lone Star State of Mind mean to you? Uh, it means uh, finding yourself, being independent, getting away from possibly a bad relationship or a bad friendship and finding out truly who you are. Very cool. Well, uh, gentlemen, we'd uh, love to hear you guys play it. Yeah, for sure. You're listening to uh, Aiden Logston and the Highliners on Live from the Back Room on 106.1 Flip FM. Yeah, John Wayne and the Alamo One horse towns in Pounder Row Minions never rode away with her I miss summer nights on a back road Even beside hell I don't know What I'll do without you
afraid of my own Feet in my hand, get out of my mind You were all I needed anymore Just give me a long start Stay in my hand Give me a long start Stay in my This is Aiden Loxton and the Highliners. Gentlemen, uh, so well, you recorded that song. Um, I, I saw that you recorded it in Level Land at uh, South Plains College. Yes, sir. So uh, what kind of setup did uh, do you guys have? Is that like a um, – is that like you know part of a, a class practicum or something? Or uh, no, sir. Well, they have they have classes that are based off of uh, recording, and those students have to go through and find artists to record. But actually, the bass player J.D. Hollis and I uh, sat down and in an ISO booth and recorded my vocals, and he sat in his dorm room and recorded some of the instrumentals, and um, we built it from the ground up on GarageBand, actually. <laughs> Um, what uh, what response have you guys had so far? I know that uh, you, the first day out, you were really uh, pushing it on social media. Yes, and, sir. And uh, you seem to have uh, have gotten some uh, decent response. Yes, sir. We're really happy with the response right now. Uh, a lot of my friends have shared it. A lot of friends and family of both of ours have shared it, and we're we're really thankful for that. So, uh, Alex, I want to turn to you for a second. Um, you know, being from Floyd Ada, being here on 1061 Flip FM, um, did. Uh, I mean, did you did you expect to see um, the response that you have had so far? I mean, between Aiden and I and the other band members, with all the friends and family that we have around West Texas, I knew there was going to be a pretty big response out of it, but I didn't know the networking was going to do that well. We actually had a really good turnout, and a lot of people have reached out to us and commented on how good the song was or what they thought of it. So um, what uh, what's next for you guys? What are you, uh, you hoping to, to do? Do you have some gigs coming up? Do you have, uh, you know, an album you're planning? Tell us. Uh, so when we get back to school, I'm going to go back and in the studio and start working on an acoustic single, and then we're going to start building on our EP and hopefully get to our album from there. And uh, Alex, what about you? I mean, you've got uh, baseball season coming up, I assume. How is that going to work into your uh, your schedule? Very carefully. Um, <laughs> obviously, I have the the band. Um, obligation but i also have the team obligation as well so it's just uh, going to be a lot of communication and playing to lubbock's not too far so we'll make it work it's absolutely true where do you guys practice at so in my garage there in lubbock <laughs> <laughs> my, my neighbors love us i'm sure <laughs> all of justice avenue can hear us so i want to talk about that for a second you know um there is i would argue a a lubbock music scene a uh, a lot of guys who have come out of Lubbock, obviously, you know, from Buddy Holly on down, but uh, what do you say it is about West Texas, about the the lifestyle, the living out here that uh, kind of lends itself to music? People relate to it, man. Everything that's been written up here in West Texas is relatable to the people around us, so I feel like people tend to be attracted to that, and um, I feel like the bar scene's really helped us out. The college scene there in Lubbock, everybody... Everybody just wants live music and going to the bars and listening to us, and um, they they've been super supportive. So I feel like that's that's what we've strived off of. Well, there's not a whole lot to do out here in West Texas, so uh, <laughs> when people get bored, they crank up the road, crank up the radio, and they either go to the bar, or they go to a concert, and they just have that music playing. And it's like a soundtrack to their life, and like Aiden said, it's very relatable, and that's what we're going for is just relatable music that we can market and everybody can listen to and feel good with. So with, um, you know, the, the elephant in the room of, of COVID, you, know, you haven't been able to, to traditionally get out and support your, your song like you normally would. Um, how has that impacted you guys? Well, man, we'd, we would really like to uh, get out in, this, in the bar scene and start playing more, but that option's been kind of taken out of our hands. So we're, we've really been relying on, our friends and family to help us promote it and spend a little extra money on social media to help push it a little bit. And, um, that's, we're, we're just doing the best we can right now. 
Well, you're doing a good job. I appreciate it. So we ask you guys to uh, to come to Live to the Back Room. Uh, you, we, we hear your single, but we also invite you to play a, a, a song that is near and dear to y'all or one that y'all love to perform when you're sitting around in your garage or at a bar. Um, just any kind of cover song or anything that you really want us to hear. What uh, what would your, your second song for us be this afternoon? I'm going to have to go with Good Lord Lori from Turnpike Troubadours. All right. Lord, lit a cigarette and smiled and white smoke out of her face. Black hair, brown from the summer sun, green eyes looked around the place. Then she told me that she loved me and I green and gray of your hands. Said I know, let's get from here now, darling. If we're going, let's go on and go.
Um, we are here with Aiden Longston and Alex Glass of Aiden Longston and the Highliners. So, uh, Highliners, how'd you come up with uh, that name? <laughs> well, we were just sitting around the dining room table at Aiden's house with the other uh, band members, and we were just, like most bands, we're just looking for a name to really catch people's attention. And out here in West Texas, it's really flat. I mean, you could see power lines just going on for miles. And uh, our guitarist, Landon, he's like, what about the Highliners? It's got a nice little edge to it. And we're like, perfect. <laughs> Sounds good. It's the best way to name a band. Uh, so you uh, you guys have been playing together since August, you said. Yes, you know, sir. It is now December, so uh, it's been pretty quick. What's, uh, what's your uh, five-year goal then? Where do you want to be? Man, we're, we're going to be shooting for the biggest stages we can get on. We want to make a name for ourselves. We want to be able to support our families and make a respectable living out of music. So uh, I, don't, I don't really have an answer for that. We're just going to shoot for the best we can get. That's a good answer. Just kind of start where we're at right now and keep working our way up and gathering more attention. And I guess uh, we want to be the biggest name coming out of Lubbock here in the past 10 years and just figuring it out as we go, you know. So then let's let's play dream scenario. You get to play the biggest stage you can think of. Um, who do you have open for you? Oh, geez. Uh, man, that's hard. I have so many influences. I couldn't say I, I, w I would want them to open for me. Um, or who do you want to open for? Let's start with there, and then we can flip it. I know Reed Southall puts on a great concert, and it would be a blast to play for his crowd. And uh, we – when we cover a lot of songs, we there's big influences of Reed Southall in our music, and I think we would complement each other really well and be a, a really good time if we could open for them. Yeah, for sure. Um, one of my biggest influences coming out of Texas country has got to be Cody Johnson. I know he's on the Nashville scene now, but he's he's one of the best vocalists in the game. He puts on one of the best shows you can go to, and I feel like that that'd be top of the line for us. That'd be really, really cool. Well, you said this was your first radio interview, but you know, a question I always try to get in is, what's something that no one has ever asked? Golly, I have no clue. Um, in terms of the music interview, we've talked a lot about baseball in comparison to music, and uh, it's just good to get a background on what we all do and figure out how we met and everything, so that was really cool about this interview, and you don't hear about that much. Yeah, I agree with that. So then, let's find out. Uh, favorite baseball team? Oh, it's got to be the Rangers. Sadly, the Rangers right now. <laughs> yeah. Nothing sad about that. We've been we've been horrible for years. <laughs> we'll get, we'll get back bad. to that mountaintop one day. <laughs> yes, Don't sir. You worry. Yes, sir. So we are joined by Aiden Logston and Alex Glass of Aiden Logston and the Highliners on 1061 Flip FM. You are listening to Live from the Back Room. Gentlemen, I appreciate your time. Is there anything else you'd like to add? That's all I've got. No, sir. We appreciate you having us. Thank it was, it was a good time. All right. This is 1061 Flip FM.